mathematics. The name alone strikes fear in the heart of most students, but there is hope. Mr. Terry Green, a math instructor here at San Monica College. Mr. Green is one of the more popular teachers here on campus. Dateline SMC took this opportunity to sit down and talk to Mr. Green about himself and his teaching techniques. My dad inspired me to be a teacher. So my dad was a teacher here at Santa Monica College and uh, he still teaches here. He teaches for our emeritus division. And uh, so when I was a kid, I would come over to Santa Monica College and uh, help him with his paperwork and uh, just be around the school. And, and uh, so I just wanted to be a teacher and I had always anticipated I would teach at the uh, junior high, senior high level, which I did. And then luck would have it, I got to uh, to uh, Santa Monica College to teach. Well, I've been teaching uh, since I got out of college in 1969, so it's 2002. If you do the math, it's, uh, it's my 33rd year. I've taught uh, here, this is going on my 17th year, and I did 16 years uh, at uh, junior high and high school level. I did uh, two years in the Peace Corps. I was accepted uh, to go to a little island called Nevis in the Eastern Caribbean, and uh, I was asked to teach at the high school. I taught uh, mathematics for the first time, and I taught Spanish at the local high school, and uh, it did it from 69 to 71, and uh, had a wonderful time. I learned a, a lot more from the people there than uh, they learned from me, because I was just learning how to teach. But they were wonderful people. Nevis is a beautiful island that no, most people have never heard of, because it's so small. But it's near St. Kitts and uh, Antigua, which more people are familiar with. Math is always what I've done best and I've, I've taught lots of subjects. I've taught math, I've taught history, I've taught ESL, I've taught English, computer science, Spanish, but what I do best is teaching math. I just try to uh, make it clear and uh, try to show the beauty of it and how it all works. A lot of folks have never seen that it does make sense and so I try to make some sense out of it. I try to make it where it's interactive, where if, if I show a problem, I have students do the problem so that they're involved, learning on the spot. We don't learn by watching others do stuff. We learn by doing the stuff ourselves. So in class, there's a lot of times when the student is asked to uh, be involved, and uh, I try to keep things light. I'm occasionally known to tell a joke or two. I've got a lot of jokes from students now on the internet, so I occasionally will tell an internet joke and makes the class a little more fun. And what does Mr. Green's students think about him and his teaching techniques? Let's find out. He just has this name when it comes to math. Take Mr. Green. So I took him and no regrets. He's a brilliant way of teaching because before uh, me doing mathematics was like pulling teeth and he was able to actually make it fun, enjoyable. And I, I never thought you know, anyone could do that. You know, he, he tries to lighten the class spirit and he doesn't want to make math this, you know, thing that you hate. He really wants us to have a great appreciation for math and really, even if we don't necessarily love it, appreciate it and see how it's useful in our lives. And yeah, I think he's our best, best developmental math teacher in the math department. And students think that too, because they always rate him very high. John Candy, also a math instructor here at San Monica College, has known Mr. Green ever since their college days. We didn't know each other, but we both went to UC Santa Barbara, and we met in the dorm, and we were roommates, and uh, we've been best of friends ever since. I think the fact that he really works with students, he gives you time, he gives you extra time to do what it is you need to do, and he's very patient and he's really interested in getting every student to learn. Why do you uh, think math is important for in education? Well, it's just uh, so important for folks to be able to think critically. So, just as I was walking here, I was asked, well, am I ever going to need to know this particular type of problem? The answer is probably no, you're not going to. But if it develops folks critical thinking skills so that they analyze problems and that they have in their life and, and look at them carefully and then make better decisions, then I felt that I, that's really helped them. Oh, and we can't leave Mr. Green while hearing that oh so famous quote. I like to tell students is math is beautiful. Math is and beautiful. Math is beautiful, and it is. You just know that, you'll enjoy every minute of your math class and uh, it'll be a lot of fun. This is Jay Allen reporting for Dateline SMC.